Assalamu alaikum everybody, welcome back to my channel Recollection. Actually, I cannot say like this because I've changed the name of my channel into Team Stories. Now I decided to change the name of my channel in order to just make easier to some people who are uh, searching my channel. Uh, actually, they are not a lot, but anyway, okay, uh, for them, I just decided to just change the name of my channel. Okay, guys, today I'm coming back uh, to the grammar rules. I'm trying to talk about some kind of uh, useful uh, structures, useful phrase, phrases in order to just increase my speaking and also grammar with you, guys. Thank you for watching my videos. Maybe I'm, I'm not doing a lot of videos these days, but anyway... I'm trying to just uh, keep going and uh, keep moving anyway. Okay, guys, today we'll talk about as if. Okay, my buddies, let's get started. We should do this. Today's topic, as I mentioned it before, as if. Okay, you know, we use as if to say how someone or something looks, feels, or sounds, etc. For example, first example, just pay attention, please. Uh, that house look as if nobody lives in it. You know, uh, we use it as if because we just saw one house and uh, there is no any window on it. Maybe, you know, uh, Ed's door uh, just was broken down, maybe, you know, and that house was in a bad condition. And you can use as if. Because just imagine, nobody just can live in those kind of houses, you know. And you can just say, that house look uh, uh, as if nobody lives in it, you know. It, it was for exam first example. And the second example is, okay, for example, uh, Malika just sounds uh, as if she has got a cold. Doesn't she? You ask it from your friend, you know. You just, uh, you know... You was just walking down the street with your uh, a friend and you you were talking about something and you just met Malika, you know. And uh, when you just talked with with her, you just uh, felt that he's ill because, uh, you know, uh, maybe she had, I don't know, uh, running nose or maybe a sosro, maybe uh, uh, her sound, uh, her sounds kind of ill. That's why you said you know, uh, for example, Malike sounds as if she has got a cult. And you ask it from your friend, doesn't she? You know, uh, there is some reason. There is some, I don't know, a kind of, you know, uh, something that just uh, make you uh, sh make you just sure that that person uh, ill or that thing is in bad condition. Or, I mean, you can just uh, use this. Kind of, you don't know about that, but you, you kind of, you know, predicting. And that's all. And the third example is, for example, I have just come back from holiday and I feel de depressed and really sad. I don't feel as if I have had a holiday. For example, you, you know, it is really, really fam familiar situation for, for everybody, I think. For example, you went to the holiday and you just uh, had a blast maybe. But after coming back to home, you started to feel depressed yourself and you started to feel you, yourself really sad because holiday has ended, yeah? That's why, for example, we use it this. For example, you went to holiday and the, the, after coming back, you felt yourself really depressed and you said, uh, I don't feel as if I had a holiday. You just said that uh, maybe I didn't have any holiday because I'm really tired and I feel depressed, you know. In this kind of situations, you can just use as if. Okay, and I want to just compare uh, as if with a simple structure. For example, you look tired. Yes, pay attention. You, it is subject. Look, it is verb. And then tired, it is an adjective. But when we use, you know, uh, as if structure, uh, you know, a bit change. For example, just pay attention. You look as if 
you hadn't slept. Pay attention. First uh, comes uh, subject plus verb, and then as if, and after as if, we use you know proper order. I mean, for example, subject plus verb. That's all. And also, guys, uh, you know, uh, you can use as row instead of as if. You know, for example, I want to talk about one really interesting structure. I think uh, it will be interesting to you. For example, when you use as if, you can use this structure. For example, it looks, it uh, feels, it sounds, and then after this, as if. Okay, listen. First example. Tom is late. It looks as if he's not coming to the party. Maybe you know the second, second just example uh, was using this structure. Okay, uh, we took an umbrella because it looked as if it was going to rain. That's all. You know, you can use the structure. Uh, and I think your speech will be really good but with using this kind of, you know, uh, how can I say, structures. Uh, and uh, it, it it would be more beautiful, I think. In addition to this, you know, we use as if with past simple. For example, uh, we you can use as if with past, but the meaning is present. For example, I don't like, for example... Oktam, you know, he just speaks uh, as if he knew everything. We use it new, you know, uh, it is past, you know, and uh, uh, it doesn't mean that we talk it about the past. We talk it about the present, but we use it the past because, you know, uh, the Oktam doesn't know about everything. We just uh, said this in order to just uh, emphasize that Okitam doesn't know, you know, anything. Uh, and this kind of structures we use uh, in an uh, if sentence and, uh, and and in wish, you know, uh, we use past, but the meaning is present. Okay, guys, thank you for watching and thanks that you are watching now my video. Thank you, man. Okay, uh, guys. Uh, Thank you for watching this video and don't forget about subscribing uh, the typical words the typical sentences all the time i'm mentioning about this okay I, uh, guys today uh i mean not today these days i'm trying to make videos in uzbek and please just uh, leave comments what do you think about this okay thank you guys see you again i was really happy to make this video especially for you and please just uh, estimate me Peace, as usual.